The tech world never stays still, and Amazon Photos is just one of them. So it's time for an update of Amazon Photos. If you didn't know already, if you are an Amazon Prime member, you can get unlimited photo storage on Amazon Photos. Well, if you didn't know, you can. But is it worth it, and what has changed? What is Amazon Photos? Amazon Photos is part of your Prime membership. It has unlimited photo storage, but for videos, you have to start paying when you reach five gigabytes of videos. So if you love a video, you will quickly have to start paying extra. Also, if you don't have Prime membership, it is not for you, so move on. There is a web viewer and an app, so pretty much just like any other Photos app out there. So let's have a look. The desktop app. The Amazon Photos desktop app is really intuitive and works like any other Photos app. You have the stream of photos in the middle with some options to filter either near the top or to the side. We'll talk about that in a minute. And some other ways to engage with your photos on the left hand side. Now, if you don't have people and places section on the left, you need to go to your name in the settings and go and find peoples and places and then switch it on. To view your photos, you have a number of options with kind of collage view and then different sizes of thumbnail. And then if you go over to the right hand side, there's like a line with some dots and you can scroll through and click and jump to particular years and months. On the left hand menu, we have things like the family vault, which is where you can connect and invite others to join and share your photos. You've also got any albums that you might have created. Then an improvement on my last review is we now have memories, which used to be called stories, which will give you memories of historical events by year, but also locations or collections, things like together over the years. Then you've got good old people where you need to name people and then you will find people in your photos and make it searchable. So basically facial recognition. You've got places where you've taken photos and below that we've got folders, which is a copy of any of the folders that you had on Amazon Drive. And I'll talk about that in a bit, but it's a sad story. You can see the folders that you had, but you can't create, change or move anything around. So a sad story. But you've also then got storage, which is where you can manage your storage if you need to get some more storage. Because remember, if you have too many videos, you will have to pay for more storage. Like most Photos app, the AI is looking at your photos to make sure that they're searchable. So if you want to search the web app, you can just do it with simple words. So you can choose the word beach and it will show all your photos with beach on it. But you can also do it with filters. Now, when it comes to filters, I've noticed something a bit odd that you might have them down the side where you can select the date and people or they are at the top. So they're little buttons that you can click on and you've got the same thing, years, places, people, media, so whether it's photo or video or things that they found like plants in your photos. To clear any of the filters, just click clear all on the right hand side of your selections and they will totally go. The mobile app. The mobile app works similar to the web app to view your photos and to sort your photos. That can be a little confusing until you get the hang of it. You have your normal photo stream, but to search, we have this little section here. To search, you can use the magnifying glass and you can see all your favorites that you've hearted. And then to filter, you use the other sections that may look similar to your web app. So you slowly select what you want and you go down using the logic that you want. So maybe it's like a year and then a month and then it will slowly show you the pictures. To clear, just swipe up and select clear all. When in the main photo screen, you can also swipe up and see lots of nice memories like daily memories, exploring your day. You can do some shuffling when it comes to some of the memories so you can decide what you want in them. So it's a lovely way to find your memories and find things that you've forgotten. With all these memories, you can also influence the photos in them and you can share them with others. So it's really lovely. Like most photo apps, you can set it to auto backup your photos. 
from your camera roll to automatically put them into your Amazon Photos to keep them backed up. And also you can have more than one phone backing up to your account. So it's a great way to get everything all in one place. You just might need to open the app every so often to kick off that backup to make sure that everything is safe and sound. What happened to Amazon Drive? You might have seen me gush about Amazon Drive in the past, but if you try to find it, you won't be able to, or if you can, you can't add anything or download anything. So sadly, Amazon Drive is now discontinued, which for me is so sad. For those who didn't know the joy that was Amazon Drive, it was the folder version of your photos. So you could sort all your photos into a lovely folder structure of your liking, like years and events, and you would have more control than just a stream of photos and singular level albums. So for me, it was the best part of Amazon Photos and why I used to love it. But sadly, it is now gone. My view of Amazon Photos. I still have a fondness for Amazon Photos because people don't realize there's actually something that they are paying for. But with the demise of Amazon Drive, it is just not what it used to be. Drive used to be the thing that put it apart from Google Photos, but now it's just the same. And actually it's not as good if you don't wanna keep your membership going forever. But it does still have other advantages. It's not a syncing service like Apple, so it's a great option to back up your photos from your phone and keep them safe and sound. And also Amazon Photos is great for sharing. You can load more than one phone account into your Amazon Photos account, so you can automatically see all of your husband's photos if he wants to let you without having to do a load of work. So if you are an Amazon Prime member, go and check out Amazon Photos. It's a great option, especially if you're paying for Amazon Prime, to make sure you are getting your money's worth. What other apps do you use to share and back up your photos? I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead with a like and a share and go ahead with a subscribe, why don't you? Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.